After tonight at 11, dozens of Eugene business owners and residents spoke out about the impact of burglary, violence, and other crimes on the streets of downtown Eugene at a city council meeting tonight. And KEZI 9 News reporter Chris Lewenberg was there to watch Eugene wake up, speak up. Kathy Zagali thinks that lately her job as a sorority house mom I have 60 women that I'm responsible for has gotten more dangerous. My job is safety and security. So it's getting alarming to me. And if anything happened, I, oh my goodness, I would be sick. The list of incidents is stacking up. Then our bicycle shed was broken into, even the, the lock. I don't know how they did that. With tensions running high, she, along with around a dozen members of Wake Up Eugene, made their way to Tuesday's city council meeting. That's why we're here. We, we have to do something positive. It's stories like that that drew 47 people to give public comment. Organizers with Wake Up Eugene say their movement is about keeping crime off the streets, not the homeless. It's nothing about homelessness. It's about lawlessness, and it's about unifying our community. It's about coming together. But still, some worried the fed-up business owners might go too far. Some people actually wind up in this situation because of very deliberate, very bad choices, but that's not everybody. They're bid to be heard by the city council, an apparent success. And I think that's the basis on which we can work together. Not only homeless advocates, but also people who will recognize the criminal behavior side because we do have that in common. According to Eugene Mayor Lucy Venice, projects that are in the works like an emergency shelter, more affordable housing, and increased policing funded by the payroll tax are intended to address safety concerns and the welfare of the homeless. But months and years away, a solution is needed right now leaving some desperate for change. Enough is enough. I'm Chris Lewenberg, KZI 9 News.